Che Walton Grant, better known as AJ Tracy, is an artist from Lapford Grove, West London. In the UK, AJ is virtually a household name. He appears in major ad campaigns and he's in constant radio rotation. But how did the 26 year old go from being an underground bedroom rapper to a platinum selling pop star in the space of five years? I'm John O. Ramsey from Ride Music and this is the evolution of AJ Tracy. AJ dropped both his debut and sophomore EPs in 2015, The Front and Alex Moran, with notable tracks Nalia and Spirit Bomb really turning heads within the scene, even picking up some one extra support. However, it was next year in 2016 when AJ would really solidify himself as a force to be reckoned with. He dropped his huge collab single Tiago Silva with fellow suit to be star Dave. Yes, the track that Alex from Glasgow rapped on in that video, yeah, that one. As well as his little Tracy EP and more popular singles like Packages and Leave Me Alone. Off the back of these singles and the EP, AJ went on tour in the UK, hitting up relatively small, intimate venues that really lent themselves to the energy of grime and, and felt a bit old school. I caught him in World Headquarters in Newcastle on this tour and the venue for me just intensified the entire experience. It was very sort of old school in the sense that it was just a crowd and a guy with a mic and he had to gas them up and that was it. There was no frills, no nothing, just stage, mic, go out and do your thing. But the thing about that old school grime atmosphere was that AJ didn't feel old school at all. He felt fresh. It felt like he was bringing something new. AJ had that grime MC energy and he could gas up a room and get reloads for days, but he also had the ability to put together a solid chorus with a bit of melody. AJ wasn't afraid to mix up his style, add a bit of glossy trap slickness to the grimy high energy flows. He wasn't a purist by any means and that would prove to be the key to his success in the future. Yo, 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 I really felt at that show like I witnessed something special. I mean, I couldn't move and I was drenched in sweat, but the atmosphere was electric, AJ was electric. It was just him, stage, mic, crowd, nothing else, no gimmicks, no lighting setup, no nothing. AJ didn't need gimmicks, he had the energy, he had the ability to gas up the crowd so easily, came out, shelled it, and honestly, it was one of my favorite gig experiences ever. AJ kept his foot on the accelerator in 2017, releasing his fifth EP, Secure the Bag. The project had notable tracks like Blacked Out and Alakazam, featuring GME and Denzel Curry. The Denzel feature is worth talking about more because AJ's Iron America is something else that gives him the edge on his contemporaries. He always seemed to know what was happening and want to make links and move to make those links before anyone else. AJ always had an American feature on his big projects, with Denzel Curry on Secure the Bag, Remy Banks on the Little Tracy EP, and Jay Critch on his 2019 debut album, but we'll come to that in a bit. It's not just the features that are worth talking about though, it's how AJ takes influence from American sounds with these sort of glossy trap melodies and beats and makes them into his own. His use of these influences never feel forced or fake, they kind of just come naturally and AJ finds a way to make it his own. For example, on tracks like Blacked Out, AJ takes these American influences and mixes them with sort of classic UK sounds and flows. He takes from genres like garage, dancehall, grime. He's found the best of both worlds and sort of really made his own sound. It's not a massive stretch of the imagination to compare AJ's mentality to Drake's mentality. They both repurpose sounds consciously from other styles, other genres that aren't necessarily their own and make it their own. And yeah, they have the haters here and there, but at the end of the day, they're still the biggest artists out of their countries. AJ's willingness to experiment with different styles, his international outlook and catalogue of pop culture references had made him one of the UK's most exciting prospects by 2018. It was only a matter of time before he blew. The release of Butterflies featuring Notes would give AJ Tracy his commercial break later that year. Butterflies peaked at 19 on the UK singles chart, AJ's highest chart and track at the time, but he quickly topped it with Ladbrook Grove, which peaked at number three on the singles chart, alongside his debut album, which also debuted at number three on the album's chart. AJ had done it. He'd broken through to the mainstream market and was a certified pop star. Ladbrook Grove's infectious callback style UK garage inspired hook made it a platinum selling single and still stands as his most streamed song to date, with 130 million streams, complimenting his 6 million odd monthly listeners. I'd 
run into AJ Tracy again in 2019 at another sold out show with a slightly different crowd this time at a slightly bigger venue. The 2019 World Tour was AJ's victory lap. His crowd now a mix of gun fingers and girly screams. I was doing both, of course. Let me get that again. Hey, listen, I know you're not excited, but if you grab me, I'm gonna drop, man. Allow me. Hey, let's get it nice. Yes, sir. Well done, lad. I knew you guys would show me your fucking energy. Let's get that same energy again. Yeah, what are you saying, man? Five, four, three, two, one, go! She in the Cuba, me in the Diva. She got a war, she don't want me to hide. Me, I'm a lover, I'm a boy, you're a loser. I love a pretty Latina. Hey. I love a pretty Latina. Hey. Niggas in trouble with him. She in the Cuba. His set was a mix of reload inducing street bangers and chart topping sing alongs. AJ had blown his market wide open. He was mainstream enough to appeal to teenage girls and middle class students, yet still credible enough to earn the respect of the most cynical rap fan. A paradox that makes him one of the biggest names in UK music today. At the end of 2020, AJ dropped his Secure the Bag 2 EP, and that's kind of what inspired this video. I love this EP because he's brought it back to his more rap focused stuff for his OG fan base, but it still has that signature sort of AJ diversity and unpredictability about the project. AJ's sound is always going to be forward thinking, but this project really shows that he's still in touch with his core fan base and knows what they want and wants to give them it. He still wants to do that kind of music and that's what I love about this EP. AJ might have all the money and fame now, but I don't think he's ever forgotten his roots and this EP kind of proves that. I can't recommend the project enough and I'm excited to see how AJ is going to level up again in 2021 and believe me, he will. From Ladbroke Grove to the world. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. It means a lot. You've already got me to 2K, so I'd love to get to 3K. Jump in the comments and tell me what you like about AJ Tracy, what your favorite track is, or tell me what you don't like about him. And I reply to all comments, so let's have a chat. Again, thank you so much for the support so far. Like 2K subs is insane to me. It's so crazy from going from like 300 to 2K so quickly. Um, if you haven't seen my slow tie video or my other videos, I'll link them there. I'll put my Instagram up here too. Hit me up in the DMs. I always reply. I love to have a chat. Thank you so much. And until next time, goodbye. I really felt at that show that I'd witnessed something special. I mean, I couldn't move and I was drenched in sweat, but the... <clears throat> Fuck me, man. For example, on tracks like Blacked Out, he made them his own by mixing it with UK classic sounds and flows. For example, on tracks like Blacked Out, he uses like... For example, on tracks like Blacked Out, he uses... For example, on tracks like Blacked Out, he takes trap melodies and mixes it with sort of classic UK sounds and flows, which kind of makes it his own style. Taken from front... For example, on tracks like Blacked Out, AJ... Tr ah. AJ's willingness to experiment ah. I, ran into AJ, I ran into AJ again in 2019 with another sold out show with a slightly different crowd at a slightly bigger venue <laughs> Release, release, release I'm John Ramsey from Ride Music and this is the evolution I'm John Ramsey from Ride Music and this is the evolution of AJ Tracy I'm John Ramsey from Ride Music and this is the evolution of AJ Tracy. I'm John Ramsey from Ride Music. I'm John Ramsey from Ride Music and this is the ev I'm John Ramsey from Ride Music and this is the evolution of AJ Tracy. I'm John Ramsey from Ride Music and this is the evolution of AJ Tracy. I'm John Ramsey from Ride Music and I'm John Ramsey from Ride I'm John Ramsey from Ride Music. I'm John Ramsey from Ride Music and this is the evolution of AJ Tracy with fellow soon-to-be star Dave. Yes, the one that Alex from Grasso rapped down. Ah! It's not just the features that are worth talking about though. It's the way that AJ took influence from these Americans with these glossy trap flows and and melody. It's not just the features that are worth talking about though. It's the way AJ took influence from the American sound with these sort of glossy trap melodies and, and beats. And it didn't feel forced because I'm talking shit. Get fast if I run deck, flip the amp and bass blast. One bang left him in a face cast. Slow MCs about to place last. Race fast MCs gotta take charge. Fake pass, get part from a mate fast. Cake comes stacked that and I swipe cards, then I buy pairs, jab cards, and I stay hard. Oh, yeah, I'm the hardest. You can't part this when I get started. Gee, let me leave it there, bro. <laughs>